Hello, I'm Dan Baxter, Sales Engineering Manager for the U.S. here at Open Gear. Today we'll be looking at a demo of Serial Port Auto Discovery. Serial Port Auto Discovery is a feature included in all of our out-of-band appliances. It's a Python script that can be run once from the GUI, the CLI, or the API, or it can be scheduled to run on a regular basis. And it will attempt to learn the host name of devices attached to the serial ports and then label those ports accordingly. It can be a great help during day one installations. It can be great help during move changes over time just to keep everything trued up and be a good uh, source of truth of what's attached to what. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. I'm going to go into configure serial ports and my port one on my OM2216 has a CAT1000 attached to it. And for reference, I'm running version 2211, which has a lot of new features around auto discovery. So what I can do is I can run it manually once, or I can schedule it up. Let's go ahead and run it once. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to go ahead and click Start Serial Port Auto Discovery, and it will use all the standard settings, 9600, 891, X2 pinouts. If I had to, I could put in user credentials, and that would just make the Python script more powerful. It could log into the device and attempt to learn its host names that way. But I'm going to go ahead and start. And then what will happen in maybe 30 seconds or less is uh, by looking at the log file, you can see that what will happen is we're going to go ahead and start the discovery. It'll make sure that the port's ready and enabled. No one's logged into it. And eventually it will learn the label. And it will actually name that port with that label that it had discovered. So let's go take a look at that. I'm going back to serial ports. It, it is labeled port 1, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And now you can see that it is label is cat 1000 and named the port accordingly. If I wanted to, I could schedule this up, and I can just simply say I'm going to enable it on a daily, weekly, monthly. Let's just do let's do it once a week, and I'm going to select which ports I want to have that done on a regular basis, and I'll go ahead and apply it. Now when I look at the ports under Serial Port Summaries, I can see that there's a new icon here indicating that the port has been queued up for discovery. Port Auto Discovery can also happen at the Linux shell of the appliance. I can type port underscore tabbed autocomplete for discovery, and then a dash question mark will show me various switches that I can use when I'm running this script. I can say uh, which ports to run it on, what speed, what baud rate, and a whole host of other options here, including host name pattern, where if you have a regular host name pattern that's the same on all devices, we can know to look for the host name around that host name pattern, which just makes it a lot easier for the script to figure out what the host name is. If I want to see the schedule on it, I can go into our config shell. I can type config, enters into the config shell, and now I can type show ports, tab to autocomplete, shows me auto discover and schedule. And now I can see all of the settings in the CLI for the auto discover process. The API can also be used to kick off or schedule port discovery. Here's our NetOps console server API guide. And as you can see under ports endpoints, there is a series of auto discover or discovery endpoints. The ports auto discovery post gives a good example of the different settings that can be used and as well as what the actual send would be. Well, that concludes this demo. Thank you very much for watching.